Right, this is the final part. Now I've got the old screen here. I like to remove the, the packing from the uh, video connector of the old screen and put it onto the new connector. Um, this means that it won't move around. I use uh, a craft knife for, for doing this um, and just place it onto the top of the new connector. Uh, that means it's not going to shift. So I just place it on and just give it a gentle push down. Okay, that's that part done. Right, so now we've got a few more bits to put together. First off, we're going to put the uh, antenna flex, well, the antenna uh, connector on. I bend it upwards and then down, and then normally it'll just line up and you just push it down with your thumbnail. Um, and just check it's on. Um, it's always good to, to align it properly because you can damage that connector. I've repaired one or two of those uh, in the past. Now we'll snap back on the, uh, the dock ribbon flex. Uh, next thing we're going to uh, take care of is the post screw. Um, this is like a standoff for the, um, the, the top uh, plate which also serves as um, uh, an aerial for the Wi-Fi. I'll show you that in a second. Right that's in. Right, now this is the Wi-Fi plate um, and I'll show you where the long screw goes at the top you'll see a little connector there. Now that makes connection to the board so without that if it's come off your Wi-Fi will be pretty poor or non-existent and it makes contact with this little brass point here if you can see that so it's important that that's in place so if anyone's having um, Wi-Fi issues with a phone they've repaired just check that that um, little packing set right I'm just pointing out the little tab that needs to go into a little groove in the the case I'll just point it out there and this is how I Put it on. I tend to feed it in from that bottom end first to make sure the little tab goes into that uh, cutout and snap it in place. Okay, first screw we're going to put in. There's five screws here. It's the longest one of the of the five. Um, there it is. We need that one first. Now there's five screws. Uh, there's three different sizes. Two of them are the same. So I'll show you where they all go. All right, the long one, obviously, in the top here. Now don't tighten any of them down yet. We'll get them all in place first off. Next one we're going to do is the side one. That's the, the one with the larger head on it. And this one holds the logic board down in that corner as well. So that's the next one to go in. The next two are the same size. Um, so they go one by the side of the camera and one up near the, uh, the other side, near the vibrating motor. They are a bit fiddly, you notice I've got um, my magnetic screwdriver. Once again, now we can tighten these down. by one. Okay, and the one for the Wi-Fi, the top here. Right, the last one is the tiniest screw of them all. Uh, once again, a magnetic screwdriver will help me get this one in. Okay, there it is. It's a bit fiddly. You can hardly see it there. So, get that one in. And tighten it down. Okay, just slipped off the screwdriver there. Okay, so those are all in. They're all tightened down. Next one we're going to go for is the plate that covers the connector for the dock ribbon flex. Now two screws. The larger screw is the inboard one. Now make sure you put this in the right place. So this one is inboard nearer to the battery. That's the first one. Don't tighten it down just as yet. 
once again fiddly screws and then the smaller one to the edge of the mid frame another fiddly screw once that's in we can tighten them down Okay, so that's taken care of, make sure that screw's tight. Right, next off is the vibration motor. Okay, two screws here, a large one and a smaller one. So just place it in, in place. I take the large screw first. Place it in, but don't tighten it down all the way. Just line it up into the hole, here we go. Okay, that's that one in, and then the smallest one. Now it's always important to lay out your screws. If you lay out your screws on, on paper, um, if there's parts associated with them, uh, obviously put the screws with the that particular part. Okay, next part is the moisture detection dot. You just push that back in in place put the tab back for the battery now we've got the battery here make sure I, I like to lead it in this way first off uh, because it, it's folded back slightly uh, near the battery connection right this is uh, holds the the antenna in place and also serves as uh, making a uh, a connection to the back case okay and it snaps into place and we've just got the last screw to to put in okay so this is more or less um, done we've uh, just got to put the back plate on back cover and the two screws associated with it but while while I'm doing this uh, just um, tell you that the pry tool um, is important don't use a, a screwdriver to to pry up any of the connections and if you watch the the video when I strip down you'll see uh, the correct places uh, to pry up uh, I have seen quite a few come in uh, home repairs with components that have literally been scraped off the board due to using metal objects and going into the, the wrong side uh, so if you follow this video you should have uh, uh, success you know uh, have your phone up and running don't over tighten the screws uh, just lay out your screws so you know where everything is okay so we've just got the sim card to put in now and test so we'll be testing camera wi-fi and obviously um, uh, the telephone side so we'll switch her on and wait for her to boot I'm going to speed this through a bit because obviously uh, boot up takes a while it's always satisfying when you get the, the Apple logo anyway if you've enjoyed this video uh, please subscribe to me I will be putting other uh, videos up anyway take care bye bye